Friends, the crypto game I'm most excited about right now is called Dragons. This is building on Internet Computer Protocol, and it's building a complete game directly on chain. And the founders have had huge success with their previous games. The token has already done some big multipliers since it launched. And for that reason, I will be doing a review of specifically why Dragons is building on ICP. Now, full disclosure, I do not have any Dragons tokens that I have bought. I, it's possible somebody sent me some on one of the apps, but I'm not sure about that or if I can even access it. But I do not have any tokens that I have access to that I've bought right now on this game. I am planning to buy some because of what I'm sharing here. I did buy some in the past and I sold them so I could buy more ICP. But I am planning to get some more Dragon's Tokens because the future that I see that's really exciting with gaming and crypto is where you can build a game fully on chain. For the reasons I'm about to talk about in this review here, which I am doing live on my main crypto channel and then putting on my reviews channel. So if we look at the tokenomics or the first Dragons was the first DAO token to launch on Internet Computer Protocol. It currently has a market cap of just 10 million. And uh, I'm big on getting into things early, although I missed this one. There were people who got into this and when the price was just tiny and they've already made hundreds of X's from where they got in. So this has been off to a great start. And what's amazing, this has happened just on Internet Computer Protocol. Dragons is not listed on CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko. And Internet Computer Protocol itself only has a $2 billion market cap. Now think about that, that Internet Computer Protocol even though right now in coin market cap is at listing 33 it is produced a, a game there's a huge game building on here that made a 10 million dollar market cap it has fully automated dow governance in place which is amazing and uh, where we want to get into this is to see why this game is building on internet computer so if we read, you can read this article. It's called Why the Original Neopets Creators Are Building Dragons MMORPG or Massively Multiplayer Online Role-Playing Game on ICP. And you'll want to start off by knowing what Neopets is. Because the creators of this game are Adam Powell and Donna Powell. They built Neopets. So what is Neopets? Neopets is a game that was launched in 1999, 23 years ago. Actually, it just turns out it was exactly 23 years ago to the day that I'm recording this. And this game is still active today. This game still has millions of players today, which being a 24-year-old game is incredible. And they sold this game back in uh, i think like 2000 and something yeah i'm definitely scrolling past that message wikipedia so they sold this game to viacom they purchased they purchased this game for 160 million dollars so the creators of this game adam powell and donna they they the creators of dragons made a game called neopets in 1999 that they sold a few years later for 160 million dollars so the team behind this game has had some huge success in the past and this is building on internet computer now let this article will go into why is this game and why is internet computer special with the growing number of on-chain game launches the timing is in their favor but they've been trying to make this since 2014 and uh, he here's some of the key things. Can you tell us more about the backstory? So let's look. This article goes into the backstory. So Adam began making games at five years old, which is awesome. And uh, between the two of us, they were the developers, database engineers, game designers, writers, artists, and graphic designers, which was amazing. So the two of them started this game together. They've played... You know, Dungeon Keeper, Dark Age of Camelot, World of Warcraft, Orc Arena Time, Slime Rancher, etc. They love making games that feel us good. 
So then uh, they uh, asked about what happened with Neopets. So they they once they sold it, they had stopped being involved with Neopets, and the team behind it made an NFT collection. So here's Dragons was announced in 2020, and they're saying Dragons was the original idea for Neopets, but Neopets ended up becoming something different. Now what's What's interesting is what happened with their second game. With Meteor, they tried to make the idea of the game come to life again, but it didn't happen. So this is their third attempt at making the game. They looked at building it on Ethereum once it launched. So uh, this is where you see how big of a deal an internet computer is in here. They began looking at how they could build a game using this new blockchain tech. What they really liked is that once a game was running on the blockchain, it could never be taken down. So at Meteor Games, they had been forced to shut down. So their second game, they had been forced to shut down a profitable game with an active fan base because of pressure from their hosting provider and other investors. This is what I'm talking about with Internet Computer Protocol being so valuable. This is what happens when your hosting provider and your investors force you to shut down. And this is why internet computer is such a big deal. Are you seeing what they said? And this is why they're building here. They were forced to shut down a profitable game with an active fan base. So you would think that why would you ever shut down a profitable game with an active fan base? Pressure from their hosting provider and investors. And this is the entire landscape that almost all of gaming is under right now. Almost all of gaming right now is stuck in this place where your hosting provider, which are often centralized, like Amazon, Google, etc. And then you've got investors, which are often pretty centralized too. They can simply pressure you to take down a profitable game with an active fan base. And for me as a gamer, although I haven't played any video games I'm off my video game addiction for four months now, so that's going pretty well, making music instead. But this this is why internet computers needed. This is why this is the biggest game on internet computer right now. And this is why internet computers valuable. Using blockchain, this can never happen, but you can't just say blockchain though. So look at what happened when they're considering or working on trying to build with Ethereum. We hit several limitations. The main issue was scalability in the programming language. We faced so many roadblocks trying to build in other places. Development paused. Then they met Dominic Williams in 2017. And he explained the premise and it sounded perfect for what we wanted to build. They've been trying to get this built on blockchain for six years. And they've been building now for three years. The technology is enough. The technology in crypto has matured to make building on a blockchain, not with a blockchain, where your, your chain does a tiny amount of computation and then everything else is done off-chain, but building on a chain. And this is, this is what is special. They now have the tools to make something truly remarkable, that they can build an entire game on a blockchain that is not dependent on the hosting provider liking it or pressuring them to take it off and it's not dependent on investors pressuring them to take the game off and this is what's so big not just for this game but for all of gaming in the world is to make a game that's self-sufficient right now almost every game is centrally controlled and uh, therefore it, it's it's difficult for a game to be self-sufficient because even if it is self-sufficient and profitable, you have these big entities from hosting providers to investors who force games to do certain things, which often you know, ruins the, the fan base and the quality of the game, or they even force games to shut down even if they are profitable. Making a self-sufficient game where just the community and the fan base and the token holders can run the game that is something that you cannot do anywhere else. And that's a huge deal. You, it can feed itself with the tokens it needs to fund. And this is where you can get a positive reinforcement loop. Where the game can be self-building and sustaining. Are you seeing the, the game, the massive zero to one innovation this is? 
that you can build a game on internet computer and Dragons is actually executing this. That the game can be self-sufficient and just keep running and keep growing organically without having these third parties that like an investor or a hosting provider that can just shut it off because they don't like it or they're tired of it or it's not profitable for them, even if it is itself. So this is why you want to understand like why is it why should a game developer build on chain and how does this align with players? So the internet computer has a reverse gas fee model, which is huge because I played a game called Gods Unchained and that's something that there, as long as it's built the way it's built now on a layer two called Immutable X, which is then uh, you end up needing to use Ethereum really and MetaMask to do all the transactions and you need Ethereum if you want to buy the cards at a lower price that's not mass adoption friendly because you have to use a MetaMask wallet. You have to use it directly in your browser. You have to pay gas fees to deposit or significantly higher costs for the tokens. And if you play to earn, the token itself has almost no value, no governance. This is why the, it needs to be on chain because regular people are not reverse gas model people. When you can have complete control of the whole game, the entire infrastructure on chain, then you're the only person that can take the game offline. And you don't have to have cloud service providers, firewalls, security software. Everything you need to build your application is completely on internet computer. And this means for a player, you can sign up for a game and know that your data won't be stolen or shared or sold and not even the developer of the application can be able to see the personal details. I mean, this is so much better for players. Now, uh, the blockchain has the ability to make the game free to play with no gas fees. And as long as they keep paying the cycles for internet computer to run the computation, the game can keep running. And what's amazing is that if they stopped paying, they could set it up so that the community could actually pay for it too. And because you can do everything on chain, the NFTs are able to be completely on chain as well. This is a game, I haven't played a game in a while, but I might give this a try. Maybe, maybe I'll give this a try when it comes out. So uh, we want to go into more as to like why you want to do this directly on chain. And it's fully because you can have so much more involvement and direct collaboration with the community. You could have the entire economy all on chain. Right now, if you've got a game, the game has to have anything you want to do with money has to be hosted off chain with like, you know, fiat currency payments and credit cards and stuff, which then introduces all these levels of centralization. Or if you're doing it with some other crypto chain, you have to integrate it with stuff that's off chain. So uh, one of the things though, fully on chain games have a reputation for being hard to scale. So ICP, since you can store everything on chain, it's infinitely scalable, which is amazing. And that's something like most other, if you're trying to build on chain somewhere else, it's just not scalable because putting data on chain costs too much. And making the transactions, even if it's an Ethereum layer 2, at some point you got to pay Ethereum gas fees to do all those transactions. So in theory, at least with Internet Computer, you will always be able to keep the servers up. So this is a big breakthrough in gaming. And it's a very early project still, but it's it's been developing long enough to me to have some trustworthiness to it. They've been working and trying to get this executed for years. They've been developing it on internet computer for years. And it looks like House 5 says it might be launching in December 2023 or later. It's had some amazing price action on the chart where we've seen it go as high as you know $3,000 for one of the coins, but there's an incredibly limited supply. The market cap's still pretty small. I am planning on picking a little bit of this up myself. Because unlike the rest of the gaming coins out there, you know, this is because it's fully on chain, then owning the token has a meaningful use because the game itself is on chain and therefore the governance is set up where it's on chain as well. So that means since it's all on chain, the token can have some real value to it and some longevity. 
So I wouldn't be surprised if this, whenever the game launches, and the, when the game launches, and whenever the, this gets listed on centralized exchanges, and we have a bull market, this thing could shoot up big time. And uh, while I generally, you know, most all my portfolio is in internet computer itself, because why bet on one particular game? Why not bet the whole infrastructure? So to be clear, I've got the majority, you know, I've got tens of thousands of dollars locked up for eight years in internet computer because I'm betting on the infrastructure. Whether individual games succeed or not, the infrastructure is special. It is unique. But I think I'm going to pick up a little bit of this game too because I want to support the value of the game. I like what they're building. I like it's on chain. And uh, I want to be a part of this going forward and be able to vote. And, uh, you know, it, I think they're going to expand the supply. So basically, like, multiply the supply. So right now you have, like, point, you know, a tiny amount of circulating supply. I think they're going to just multiply the circulating supply. So if you have, like, point 0.1 now... That'll turn into like thousands of the supply. I think that's what's happening with it. And it looks like the price chart for this one is one of the most active we have on internet computer with, you know, the price is varying widely. So I think I'll pick a little bit of this up in case it moons. And even if it doesn't, this is a project I feel good about investing in. This is a better way to game in my opinion. So I really appreciate you watching this review of Dragons. I'm really excited about this. This is the kind of project I want to invest in. And being the first big game on internet computer, where I think internet computer could be one of the biggest cryptos in the world in the next few years, and being the first game built directly fully on chain with the everything I've said, I think this has huge potential. So I appreciate you watching this. If you want more, jerrybanfield.com. You can schedule a call with me, join my Discord. The open chat community on ICP has been going nuts. I just launched it yesterday. We got hundreds of people in there, tons of giveaways. If you want to tip live on my streams and get a notification, you can now tip with almost with hundreds of different cryptos that are on Coinbase. You can even tip in something I don't like and I'll sell it right away. And you can if you send at least five dollars with your tip, you get a notification on screen with your message and a sound effects. And the same thing if you use cards on there. I've got, I put all these videos up on X and on both my channels on YouTube. I live stream on my main channel and then I'm putting up reviews on the separate one. So thanks for watching. I'm wrapping up the recording of this now.